Hey y'all, this is a video uh, talking about voltmeters, uh, amp clamps, and test lights, uh, and how they work, and what settings to put them on for what you're doing. A lot of people don't, don't know what all these things mean, so I'm going to try to explain them for you. This is my main voltmeter I use. It's a Fluke 116. I don't know how well you can see this, but right now it's off. This is auto volts. You put it on here, it'll read AC or DC. And over here, it's AC only. Whoops, I'm off camera there. Now over here, it's DC volts. And this is AC and DC millivolts. Ohms for testing resistors or light bulbs or something like that. And continuity, continuity. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute for testing circuits. And this is capacitors. It tells you how many microfarads they are in diode testing. And this is a, a temperature. I don't have the hookup for it. And this is milliamps, which I'm always afraid to use them. Because if you, if you put too many amps through them, you'll burn them up. Now, you put on auto volts. Like I said, you can use it on AC or DC. Let's see if you can see that. Hook it on AC here. Make a good connection. 121 volts. And you come right over here, put it on DC. 13.3. And you put it on AC. 121. And if you try to read DC while it's on AC, it don't work. So it says come up zero volts. And the same way with DC, put it on DC. You can read your 13 volts. DC, and you try to put it on AC, and y'all probably think it's going to blow up, it ain't, put it in here, see, it's going like that, like it's trying to find it, but it ain't going to read AC when it's on DC, millivolts, that's for electronics when you're dealing with like 100 millivolts or something like that, and stuff below a volt, and ohms, this is for testing resistors, or a transformer, and light bulbs, stuff like that, for resistance. And continuity is real handy for checking switches, lights, uh, anything like that. Which what happens when your red touches the black, it beeps and it tells you zero ohms, which lets you know your voltage is going all the way through. And capacitor, uh, these are some capacitors I got set up for a generator, induction generator. I need more than this not enough but you hook it to the two leads and all four of these are hooked in parallel see right there 70.7 microfarads my generator will take about 200 or 250 microfarads when I get it built uh, check out my other video on induction generator anyways this is your thermostat or thermostat temperature and uh, milliamps okay that's a digital, that's a digital voltmeter. Now another thing to look for on these, be careful about, if you put them on AC, sometimes it'll pick up a straight, a straight voltage, like right now, 0.02. That's called as the fluorescent lights I got here in the garage. Sometimes uh, it might read 115 millivolts. It makes you think you got 115 volts here. If you look close, you'll see the MV, which is millivolts, not volts. You gotta watch that with these. Uh, this here is your old analog type voltmeter. Put it on my backwards so you can see it here. Uh, it's got your meter. And you got your AC voltage settings, your uh, resistance, uh, continuity, DC amps, and DC volts. Now they work just the same as the the other one does. It didn't want to work earlier. Uh, see there? It go. It tells you right here. I got set on 500. It looks like 125, uh, but it's actually 120. They're not. Sometimes these aren't exactly right on the mark. Same way for DC. You can check DC with it, and your continuity. When the two meet, it'll go all the way up. I like these. Uh, they're more reliable sometimes than the other type. The, uh, the good thing about these sometimes, when some of them. 
when you're checking volts, you don't have to have a battery in. The battery is just for uh, checking resistance and continuity, which is real handy. Now there's something else that everybody does any any electrician or any body does any electrical work around the house get one of these receptacle testers. You plug it in. If these two lights come on, it's wired right. If the red light comes on, you better shut the power off. You got you either got the let's see what it says. You got the hot and the ground reversed, or the hot and the neutral reversed. It tells you right here. Well, I didn't know I had that on macro. Sorry about that. I'll put it back on here so you can see the light there. Uh, see the two lights there. It tells you right here what what it is, what the lights mean when they come on. Well, most of them it's the two yellow or orange lights. Now the button on it, you're probably wondering what that is. I don't have a GFCI tester in here. I mean GFCI breaker or receptacles. But if you have a GFCI receptacle in your bathroom or kitchen, or on a breaker, you press this button, the light will come on, and it'll kick it. It lets you test your GFCI uh, breakers or receptacles. Uh, I actually should have them in the garage. You're supposed to, but I didn't tell you that. Uh, <laughs> this is a volt test, a uh, non-contact voltage tester, a cheap one. It beeps when you get in the presence of voltage. But these things will lie to you, like this right here. It's picking up a stack of electricity from my shirt. Now, here's the other test light I use sometimes. I hate, these prongs are too short. That's what the problem is here. See right there? On AC, they'll both come on. If you test DC with them, See it, but only one of them comes on on DC, depending on how you got it hooked up. If you hook it up backwards, your negative will come on on DC. Now, this is an amp clamp here. If you're using for testing amperage on the circuit. You can test with, you can test voltage and resistance on them too, but they're mainly for amperage. It says on 400, 200, or 20 amps. Like uh, this is a wire on a like a furnace or a stove or whatever, you want to see how much, see how many amps are going through it. You put it on the wire like this. Some people think you put it like this, clamp it on there like that. You don't do that. You put it in the middle like this. What it does, it acts like a transformer. You can see inside here, it's got the laminated metal like a transformer cord. It detects the magnetic field around the wire, which these come in really handy. And these are for AC only. These don't work on DC. Well, I hope that uh, gives you an idea of all of your uh, testing devices for electrical work and electronic work. If you got any questions about it, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.